and that's out all over the place. Yeah, it's not all right, bad. We're on the water. There we go. Beautiful morning. <laughs> hey, I'm Jeff Pat, and I'm with the ocean's deadliest predator, Jim Graham. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I am. Yes, it's pink season. That it is. It is, and they're biting. They are biting. <laughs> I took me time to get them set up because your line kept going off. Well, you know, somebody had to do it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you, you already got your limit. No, one short. The one short. All right. So I can still do three more. Yeah. Well, you know, you. Well, you've had plenty of opportunities. It's just, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I keep, like, they keep shaking the hook. Well, they're wily yeah. little bastards. They flip. They're great sport fish. Oh yeah. yeah they, I mean, they, they jump. They sneak their heads, and they have soft mouths. That they do. And it's the damn barbless hooks. Yes. Well, you know, if we. I know. We had barb hooks, you know. They should let that be go. So much. <laughs> for, for pink season, they should let that go. They, what, seen six and eight million of them come back here? Yeah, but, you know, of course, I did catch a coho this morning, so that would have been true. good to have to go. Oh, look, that one's on a barbed hook. Right? Yeah, well, uh, that's true. But it's still legal to keep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. And good Legal. Eating. Oh, eating. better to eat. Oh. Better eating than, uh, than the pink. Pink, pinks. Pinks aren't as good as coho or king, but they no. are, well, they're delicate. They are. They smoke up really good if you yeah. put them on the... You know, I'll, I'll take these ones and smoke them today, and uh, the ones we caught yesterday, we caught. You know, we we limited yesterday, so yeah, we did. So those are all those are all brined and ready to go yeah, we uh, into the smoker today. We had four people in the boat yesterday. We ran the extra rod. Yep. I love. I love this. So I ran this thing without yep. a downrigger, deep diver with a fish flash right to it, and then pink quick fish. Yeah, I thought that was great. It, I. It got pasted. Yep. It, was, it was fucking cool. I was actually kind of hoping that the uh, the other two people that were supposed to come with us today would have shown up, and I was going to go, oh, no, 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 you guys uh, go on a downrigger. I want to run that because when you catch them, it's completely different. Oh, yeah, there's no flash in the no, Yeah, it's like, oh, look, it's right here. Yeah, no, but just you and I, uh, food poisoning and I'm guessing alcohol poisoning kind of got in the way of that. <laughs> probably, probably, you know. And I, I think they were, they were both down for the count. <laughs> but the key to keep taking care of your pinks. A, bleed them right away. Yep. Then as soon as they're bled out, clean them right away. Yep. Then ice, ice them right away. And ice inside the belly. Yeah, inside, b below them, above them, and inside them. Keep yeah. them good and cold. Yep. And then eat them or prep them fast. Get yeah, you can't, uh, you know, unlike everything else, the king, you can throw in the box and throw some ice on it and go, yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah. And no, it'll be no. fun. it'll be perfect when you get home. Oh, but you can vacuum seal king or coho and they'll keep up to two weeks in yeah. the fridge. But pink, you got, Three days. Yeah, three yeah. Days. These don't are, freeze them. No, don't freeze them. Yeah. No, the, the, the meat. The meat is softer, so that that's actually why I like to. Uh, they're great for barbecuing too. Oh yeah. The big you know, put on grill. put on a grill if you've got a just a cedar plank or something. Soak well, the plank. Here's the thing. Indirect heat. I talk a lot about like when you do when you're when you're cooking your fish, keep it simple. A little salt and pepper, maybe a little mm -hmm. garlic. Let the flavor of the fish shine through. But pinks have a, have a, a delicate flavor. Uh, they have a delicate texture. Yep. If you want to jazz it up, if you're doing the teriyaki marinade, oh, yeah. if you like doing uh, the Cajun spice thing, but pinks are the perfect option for that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a, a, a fish curry. With, oh, that uh, would be really salad. good. Yeah. So. That'd be really good. Yeah, they, they, do, they do great. Uh, I think when I watch people cook them, what always cracks me up is they, they direct grill them, indirect heat. Indirect heat. Indirect heat. Set up Jim, here's a pit master, by the way, because you know, it smokes like a mother. <laughs> Set up your, I mean, if you're using a gas grill and it's got two or, you know, two or three or four um, uh, grates that light, right. light the back one, okay. you know, and put them on the front one, and, and move it to the front one so they're not on the heat, you know, let the temperature go up. If you've got an oven thermometer, you know, that's great, so you can tell the temperature inside your grill. You can buy grill thermometers. <laughs> fish uh, on over there. Fish on. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was hoping it was my rod, but it wasn't. Yeah, not, yeah. But that way they could, you know, they can take them. Indirect heat, they can control. They can control the doneness because if you put them directly on the heat, they're thin, they'll cook like that. and they're going to go right yeah. through. And you're, you know, five seconds, and you're like, oh, well, I'm, my fish is done. So you don't, you don't have time to get any smoke flavor no. and char from the grill off the. Yeah. And you can make, you know, if even if you've gotten a, a gas grill, you can make it into a smoker. Just get some wood chips, okay. soak them in water, take a. What's uh, your favorite kind of wood chip for this? Alder. Alder. All right. Alder, uh, all of them will work good. Uh, some of them will give you a darker color. I, I lean, Cherry wood will I, give you a dark color. I lean toward the fruit woods. I love yeah. applewood. Applewood is great. Yeah. But to make a little smoker, all you need to do is just take some tin foil, uh, make a little packet, you know, a little square, all right. and then soaked wood chips in it, and then poke holes in the top, 
set that directly on the heat. Right on the grill. Right, right, right on the fire. Right on, right on the part that's right. uh, where the flames are coming out. Uh, in about five, about five minutes, you'll have smoke coming out of it, and you've got a smoker. Okay. So just uh, now, now you, so you so you put out the fish away from the heat on the other side. Close that lid. Yep. Let the, the smoke flavor get into it. Yep. So it's not like a not like you're doing a brining full smoke. You just give a smoke barbecue. Right. Quick, quick right. Day. And I I actually like it. I think it makes a really nice uh, presentation for the for the fish. I like uh, it because it gives you a little bit of the smoke flavor. If you've ever been to Ivers Salmon House, uh, the the I've Indian been. one, yeah, where they do the over the alder wood, you can actually taste the smoke. They haven't brined it. All they're doing is taking the salmon. And you're getting some Straight of the up. you're getting some of the smoke on the fish, and that's classic Northwest preparation. Yeah, that's like defines Northwest salmon cooking. Oh, absolutely! Just, yeah. You can do, you can do it with any fish. Just uh, the the pinks are just since they're plentiful. Yeah, the pl you know, and, oh, good and, lord! And if you got if you got four fish and you know you can have four fish and eight people coming over, you got plenty of food. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah no, no, pinks are great. You know, call you, you get a load of pinks. Call your neighbors, invite your friends, yep. and share. You know, Absolutely. You want to eat it fast. You want to, you know, yep. Prepare it well, and then yeah, that's it. And it's like it's a, it's a great way to make friends. Yeah. Wait for your salmon, and you can. And tomorrow there'll be four more to catch. Oh yeah, yeah. and you know, and, and if you're gonna and if you're gonna smoke them, you know, to make traditional smoked salmon, what I would do <laughs> is get a, is get a uh, you know get a vacuum sealer. The greatest thing you can buy. Oh man, if, if you're if you fish on a regular basis, a vacuum sealer is, I would say, almost a must-have. Yeah, and I mean there are, you can get everywhere from the little hundred-dollar food saver, which are fine for yeah. most things. You can um, go to Costco. You can go to Costco, or you can get one of the more industrial ones. I've got a, a bigger 15-inch industrial one, so I can anything that's as long as it's not 15 inches wide. I can make it because I use the rolls. I can make the bag as long as I want to make the yeah, bag. Yeah, I have the chamber style that you know I got yeah. for work, and I love that thing because it's, it's uh, well you can, you can seal everything in it. Yeah. The thing I want to explore next is for uh, for the, the pressure cooking is the bags, the, the vacuum seal. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a name for it. I forget right now, but they are the, those are neat. Yeah, but those. We, uh, we got tuna coming up in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'll, that'll yeah. that's actually gonna be fun, and I I want to try some of the can some some canned tuna. I've, I've never canned tuna, but oh, I like to We'll try get it. to that. We'll get to that soon because it's uh, it's one of my favorite things. It's uh, I don't buy it from the store anymore. But it smokes up. Tuna smokes up wonderfully. It's it kind of has the consistency of turkey. Yeah, I can see that. It, it like turkey breast meat when you cut it. It's it it literally makes slices. When you, <laughs> when you, and smoked tuna dip is wonderful too. Yeah, uh, one of my favorites. Yeah. All right. That's that's so. another good thing with with humpies too. I, you can take the uh, once you smoke them. I've taken a lot of them, vacuum seal them, and then when you need to go to a party and somebody wants some sort of a dip, oh look, smoked salmon dip. He's, yeah, it's an easy contribution to a party and a real good one. And plus you get that, my favorite thing, you caught this? Yeah, yeah. that's always handy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well let's catch some more. I want it. It's been a while. Yeah, it's time, let's spin back over and we'll find them.